I'm Ian from Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Uh, I don't have the deep Republican credentials that a lot of folks doing these videos have. Uh, I'm Republican, conservative since college. I did not vote for Donald Trump in 2016 because it just seemed like his only frame of reference was, was power, and that's certainly been shown to be true. I will not be voting for him in 2020. The reason I'm sitting down finally doing a video is just seeing this week and weekend what Trumpism really looks like all across the country. Um, and Mayor Bowser has dealt with it in Washington, D.C., now Mayor Bottoms dealing with it in Atlanta and in the, in the petty, frivolous lawsuit being brought by um, Governor Kemp, Mayor Wheeler in Portland, and dealing with unidentified wannabe G.I. Joe goons grabbing people off the street. Um, Trump is coming after Mayor Lightfoot in Chicago. Uh, it, 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 there's no such thing as local control in Trumpism, and that seems to me to be a very anti-conservative idea. Here in Iowa, we're dealing with a Republican governor who's now issued a mandate for all school-aged children to go back to school at least 50% in person, regardless of what's going on with the virus, regardless of who gets sick, regardless of who dies, doesn't matter, uh, health and safety of the kids, the teachers, um, none of that matters to her. Um, there's just no local control, and that's a, a real problem. The other part of, of Trumpism is if you look at those mayors that Trumpists have gone after, three of the four are smart, strong, competent confident black women who have put in work to serve and protect the folks in their cities. And there's just no room for that in Trumpism. There's certainly no room for diversity. There's no room for alternate perspectives. There's no room for competence in Trumpism. And that's not the America I want uh, for me. It's certainly not the America I want for my kids. Um, an America that, that devalues those voices, um, and devalues competence is not how we become the more perfect union. Donald Trump would sacrifice 140,000 plus people and he would sacrifice our kids' health and our kids' families' health for the sake of his money. And that's just wrong. And it's time to be done with Trumpism. And whether your hometown is 200 or 2 million, at some point, Trumpism is going to look like something, and what it looks like is unidentified goons on the street or frivolous lawsuits to take away local control or sacrificing people to the god of Trump's money. I'm not interested in that. I'll be voting for Joe Biden on November 3rd, and I'll also be voting for Teresa Greenfield for Senate here in Iowa because our senator said she was going to go to Congress and, well, she's going to castrate those hogs. And as far as I can tell, all that means is she castrated the Senate so they won't stand up to the president. And that's not what I signed up for when I voted for her. I encourage you to vote for those Democratic challengers if you've got a Senate race in your uh, state as well. November 3rd, let's get rid of Trumpism. Joe Biden.